welcome back. Brought my mom back again for another Sephora unboxing for our Sephora play boxes. I also did some shopping and you were with me. Remember when we went to Sephora that one day? A while ago and I have kept everything in here pretty much and have and I don't even remember what I bought. <laughs> but it's my faves, so of course my camera would be dying. You see that? Oh yeah. We're gonna open our boxes. Mine sounds loose. Oh thank god it's not. It's in cute. A... Ooh, cute. What's it say on it? Glam straight. Glam straight instead of damn straight. This month's theme is best beauty subscription box. Oh wait, number one by my subscription addiction. Oh, Sephora won a, won a award. Or the play box. All right, let's dig in. Makeup forever. What is it? Oh my God. It's fucking little tiny make or little tiny lipstick. Ooh, Cute. what color? I don't know. Check the bottom. I can't read that small. <laughs> this is Artist Rouge Cream. Mm-hmm. I have Eye Basics. This is Prime, Perfect, and Brightens. So I think, oh, it's, <gasps> uh, yeah, I've seen this. It's the Laura Mercier, or Mercier, however you pronounce that. I Ooh, I got something by Peter Thomas Roth, and it says 24 karat gold, pure luxury lift and firm prism cream. So it is, must be like a all over self adjusting illuminator and targeted highlighter. I love Peter Thomas Roth's um, like facial um, moisturizers and stuff, so I'm excited to try this. All right, so we got some aging cream. That's kind of appropriate for my age. Yay. <laughs> by like It Hmm. Cosmetics. Hmm? By It Cosmetics. Looks fancy. Mm -hmm. Confident in cream. Are you going to use it? Um, absolutely. Yeah. Aging, hello. From the last one, you said you didn't need it. And everyone's like, your mom doesn't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> Ooh, I got a Smashbox Cover Shot Golden Hour Eyeshadow Duo. Oh my god, those are so cute. Holy shit. Ooh, and check out those two brown, bronzy, smoky colors. Bumble Bumble and Bumble... Thickening spray, pre styler, ah, for what? Probably your hair. I'm gonna smell it. Read the directions. And it's not for hair. Oh. Alcohol. For hair? Alcohol. Pre styler. It does, yeah. You spray it onto damp hair and then blow dry and style for lift. Alright, now I need it. Yeah. I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills. Looks like a cream lipstick of <gasps> some color. This is Vintage Lip Gloss. Yay! Well, oh, did you get the same tiny, one? I hope it's the same color. Yep. Yeah, it is. browns are good. Yeah, you like those? Click. Oh! And I got, ooh, I got some Triple Sec 3-in-1 Dry Bar. So this looks like the detox stuff that I use. I wonder if it's the same brand or a different brand. But this is obviously dry shampoo, I'm pretty sure. It's dry bar. <laughs> oh, I love that. Have you ever got that? Is that Apple? It is. We gotta answer it. It was fuzzy, but um It's the Better Than Sex Mascara. Yeah. By Too Faced. Have you gotten that yet? No. Okay, because I, I've had that and I really like it. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at the brush. It's, uh, it's a really good uh, mascara. You have to do that because this camera is old and slow. Okay. And my last thing is I have a Tom Ford Black Orchid scent. Oh, yeah. Did you get a smelly? Ooh, Miss Dior. Whoa. Mmm, that's pretty strong. It smells pretty. It dirty. kind of smells like boy and girl. Ooh, they don't smell good mixed together. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about your Sephora box this month? It's good, what actually. You... I'm, um, what is that called? Since my first video, I was so mad with creams. Um, this is okay. This is an yeah. aging one. That's good. Mm -hmm. I can I can accept that. Yeah, you want to try that one out? What's your? Are you most excited to try that? I or am. What's your most excited yeah. to try? Yeah. Yeah. 
I think I'm probably most excited to try the Peter Thomas Roth stuff only because I love Peter Thomas Roth, but I'm not even sure. It says like targeted highlighter, but like, what? I'm gonna read this little thing real quick. See what it is. The flecks of pure 24 karat gold in this cream scatter light for an under, for an otherworldly glow. Effective ingredients like hyaluronic acid and jojoba oil help lock in moisture and keep skin soft and hydrated. So it is like a, a highlighter. Interesting. Well, I mean that's a lot to try to say. 24 karat gold, so they live up to what they're trying to advertise it to. Right. But I'm excited to try that. So those were our boxes. I'm always pretty happy with my box. I'm glad that you like your box better this month. Now I'm going to show you some things that I got. There are some favorites in here and then like um like this thing I How much was this? I was so excited oh, to get the, so the redness much. thing. Yeah, so this is an It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness cream and it's for like red which obviously I have and it's like kind of tinted green but it, like the girl at the Actually, I got this from Ulta. <laughs> she recommended it, and it, you know, it might work for some people, but anyways, it clogs up my pores, and I don't like it. <laughs> because it's too expensive. She needs to go to Target or somewhere else. No. Yes. You, you spend could... way too much money on shit when you can get the same stuff. <laughs> no, you cannot. Cheaper. No, that stuff is filled with harmful chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> you get it from a drugstore in a van? No. <laughs> you she excited. heard me say <laughs> Yeah. So the first thing I got is one of my staples and will be a best of 2017 for me. This is the Makeup Forever uh, Mist and Fix Setting Spray. Ooh. So um, I've tried a couple this year from my uh, Sephora box, but that one has been my favorite as far as like how it makes me feel moisturized and it's not too heavy mm. and it doesn't smell so i love it yep that is my favorite setting spray of the year i mean but, yeah. sure there's more to try uh the second thing is also a staple and a favorite of mine for this year it's just the sephora brand waterproof eye makeup remover it's like instant and it's um cornflower extract so it's like really you know natural and sensitive for around your eyes and i just love it because i just put it on a cotton ball and just gently wipe away whereas i used to use like the makeup removing wipes and those like, scrub them and like wipe them too hard yes. so and I just ran out of what both a refreshing of these. color. Yeah, I know. Hmm. It's probably not good for you that it's that color. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean it's made with cornflower extract. That just sounds healthy. What else? I don't, I don't remember. Know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what I got. I'm hoping I picked out some makeup. Oh I did! <gasps> Ooh! This was mine! Nuh -uh. Yeah. Mom, you're wearing yours. <laughs> that you was the bronze. Mine. That's right. Yeah, you got the rose gold one. She buys this stuff and doesn't even remember. All kinds. You should see her bathroom. <laughs> so this next one is another thing that I found. I, all of these things that I just showed you, I found in my Sephora play box and fallen in love. This is Stilla brand, both of them. Oh, I love it. I haven't it. used that. Mom's used it. We just saw it in store and fell in love with it. But this is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. It comes on so black and it's like so thin and just so precise so it's my favorite and you you mentioned because you got this too you mentioned you really like this one i got that mm -hmm. oh oh in the kit yeah in this mm -hmm. yeah because up until i found this it was the kat von d stuff that i liked but this one's darker um it stays on better and the like brush tip is thinner and more precise these are this is beautiful oh yeah so mom's wearing it right now are you no, I got the rose gold. Yeah, but you're wearing this. Oh, yeah. Whatever, you know, it's the, it's like a wet, glittery eyeshadow. Let me show you. Mom <laughs> got the rose gold kind, which I can't remember what the name was, but this is Bronze Bell. Oh, oh my gosh. Let me just. Yeah, show them. I don't want to swatch too much. Oh my God. So pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Look how freaking glittery that is. And so I actually haven't used this yet. So tell me about it. Like, it feels so wet, but you say that it dries. It goes, yes. Does it flake off? No, not at all. Um, um, is it spreadable, like, on your eye? Yeah, the eyeliner, you know, it'll dry. And the eyeliner 
I usually wait to get to work and then put my eyeliner on because um, I don't know if I'm just using cheap eyeliner, but it I have to do it like over Cause four it, or five times, yeah. Um, but if you got the Stella to mat, yeah, I bet you'd be easier. So pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah. How long have you had that? Well, we have the receipt. <laughs> when did we go shopping? Every other night. Love it. December 2nd. Yeah. This is when we bought this stuff. She's awful. December 2nd. I am not. I'm I not. get home and I can't wait to wake up to do my makeup in the morning. <laughs> I fall asleep thinking about it. Let's see, what is this? I love makeup. I don't know. It's kind of like Christmas all over again. Stuff that I bought myself. Oh. Oh, yeah. The brush cleaner. So I got this because I had ordered one of those electric ones that are supposed to spin your brush around inside of a gl globe. Did I show you that? Did I yes. That? Well, mine didn't work, so I, and it was like 70 bucks, so I sent it back. I got it through Amazon, though. And then we so were- So she spent 150 on something where you could just take a towel, whoop, 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 with your brush, but no, she's got to have that everything. That was like $12. Matching. So it's just like a wire spoolie, and it like, you just flick off, instantly removes shadow from color from the makeup brushes, so. It was only 12 bucks. You don't believe me? Well, receipts. still, that's 12 I got bucks. receipts. <laughs> that's $12 that could go for... Now I have to look. It was 14 bucks. Yeah. Silly. And then... Oh my God. My last thing. What? And another staple favorite, we'll be using it into the next year, is the Purity 3-in-1 Facial Cleanser. I love this stuff. My mm -hmm. skin is so sensitive, and this is, like... My skin looks better when I use this regularly. Because usually if I use a product too much, my skin will start to get, like, irritated by it. You know, I, I have a hard time getting to pick something that I can continue to use. But this stuff, it's like, oh, it makes my skin so soft. And it's really gentle because I can't have anything too hard and too scrubby. It's lightly scented because I don't really like oh, scent. Can I open it? To smell? Yeah. I'm a sniffer. Me too. They know that too. I like to like smell it because if it's too smelly like chemicals and harsh and I'm like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. And then really quickly before we end this video, the Sephora haul. Oh, I love oh makeup. Um, are you having a tough time? I wanted to show some things that I got for Christmas. Oh, it smells good. Hmm. This I got for my husband. This is Saint Perfume by Kat Von D. There's also the <gasps> Sinner oh, one. Love her. I know. And I, we both got this scent in our Sephora play boxes oh my at one gosh. point. And I asked Doug for a full bottle of it because I used the sample. Look Isn't at the it? bottle. Look at the bottle. And the little skulls. And the skulls. Can I have it? And the skulls. Can I have it? I can have it. No, you can have the empty bottle. <laughs> That's like $65. That, this, this bottle is bad ass. Oh, I gotta cover my necklace. Mmm. And there's skulls all over it. I know, right? Another well, the black one does have it too. Yeah, another little thing is my house, my Jeep, everything is sculled out. Mm -hmm. Mom yeah. likes skulls. Yeah. Not really the, um, what are the, the crossbones? Yeah. Not I like, those. no, yes. I oh, don't, yeah? I don't like the, um. Pyrofly? No. The s colorful ones. The um, Dia de los Muertos ones. What? Dia de los Muertos. La, 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 la. Yeah, those ones. The Dia de los Muertos. Ah, what are they called? Sugar skulls. Yeah, Dia de los Muertos. Oh, my the God. Hola, como estas? Yeah, no, I like the. Hardcore. You like the skulls. Yeah. Skulls, not yeah. the cutesy girly skulls. The ones I would like. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and then another gift I got, which isn't from Sephora, and I actually got it from my mom, is this Victoria's Secret bombshell scent and lotion, I believe. But there's these fun pink, <laughs> um, what are they called? Sequins in front of it. But I actually want to smell it because I haven't smelled it yet. I haven't opened it. So, yeah, it's the body spray for bombshell oh. and the lotion. So, I'll just do the body spray. Because I've only had the Victoria's Secret Strawberries and Champagne and then the Victoria's Secret Love Spell. I love that. And I haven't had it, and I had those like, in high school. Mm. I know. God, Did you get to smell it. it before you bought it? Mm -mm. There, oh, there wasn't a tester? Mmm. <sighs> 
Oh, I love that. Oh, I think I, I like that better than the, know. the scent that I got in my box today. I know. <laughs> I don't like the scent that... that. Well, we kind of mixed. Mine was kind of really strong. Miss... What is that? Dior? I can't see. Miss Dior. It was, um, old lady. Mm. I couldn't really pick it up. And another little gift that I got that is bougie is uh, from Doug's sister. So my sister-in-law. What is it's a, bougie? It's a little purse. It's a coach clutch. It's real. What's a coach clutch? Coach. Like Michael Kors or Kate Spade. Oh my God. It's, it's child. <laughs> See, It's all about the thrift stores. She even left the price tag in here. 75 bucks. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Jesus. So, and I thought that was super cute. That was my makeup haul and some of my favorites of 2017 that I found in my Sephora play box. So, I think Sephora is worth it. Like, those four or five products that I showed you, I use, I buy them again. When they're gone, I keep buying them. The ones that I bought. Yeah, this I one's cool. This one's cool. Have you, have you bought one? Like, have you gone to the store and needed to buy? Like, I got, you got a sample and then you needed to go buy the full one because um, you liked it? Have you done that yet? No. Are you sure? Because you've got I a got eyeliner. Things. Eyeliner. But their cover up is like fifty fucking dollars. Oh. I I can't do that. <laughs> but it lasts a long time. Like it Yeah. Cause see you'll get oh. your twenty dollar cover or how much is your cover up that you get? Twenty bucks? Ten bucks? At this regular store? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you need to buy one of those what, once a month? Yeah. Or more no, oh, longer than that. Oh. Yeah. Well like I feel like the Sephora makeup, you use less of it so because it covers more, so it lasts longer. Yes, mm -hmm. and the thing you bought me for my birthday. So the naked. Mm -hmm. uh, the heat palette. Oh my god, that's still. And did, did they get it for you for Christmas last year? My birthday. My birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah. In July. Moral of the story is we love makeup. And if you guys want to continue to see me and my mom do Sephora unboxings and Sephora hauls and makeup videos, maybe she should do like my makeup because she went to cosmetology school and was, uh, how long did you do 18. I did hair and makeup and then women. Oh my God. 18 years you did it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So it, maybe we could do like a makeup video or she could do my makeup or I could try to do hers. I am by no means a makeup artist. So if you like the idea, then <laughs> give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Check the description box below to check out Sephora and the products that I showed you if you're interested. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys. So really quickly. I forgot to do this in my last couple of Sephora videos. I wanted to go over quickly as possible the products that I got in past boxes to tell you guys what I thought about them because I know that's something that I've been doing in my Sephora play boxes so I'm not sure if this is September or or if this is October or November but the Marc Jacobs mascara absolutely love that I got the purity made simple pore extractor didn't use that the Amika Dry Shampoo, loved that. Uh, Read Between the Lines, Sephora Collection, it's just a lipstick. I like liquid lips better than um, stick lipsticks. Then the Be Hydrated Pharmacy Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer, amazing. Just like I thought it would be. I loved their um, their Honey Potion, so the Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer is like a, just an everyday moisturizer versus the... Um, honey potion which is like a warming facial mask that I loved too when I got that so loved that box like I said I'm not sure if that was November October November and then the this one I hardly tried anything from this box so this was the complexion companion box I had the filter perfection urban decay optical illusion complexion primer I think I used that once but it's a lot thicker than I just I really love the hourglass primer which is a super thin viscosity primer and this one's kind of like feels like lotion so I used it and so it's okay but I just like thinner primers when I'm going to use them and the Makeup Forever HD, uh, Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. I love it. I, I use it. I don't use the color that they sent me, but that's the kind that I use anyhow myself, so I knew I was going to like that one. And then the Mist Wanted Tarte Rainforest of the C 4-in-1 Setting Mist. Oops, sorry. Um, didn't use that. I think maybe I used it once as a setting spray, and it kind of smelled pretty strong, and I have my favorite, which I already mentioned in this video. 
And then we have the Best of the Boost Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. Didn't use that. A skin perfecting serum that plumps, smooths, and hydrates your skin for flawless make makeup application. Maybe I should use that. I haven't tried that one yet. And then there's the Don't Hate Exfoliate Dr. Brandt Per pore dermabrasion pore perfecting scrub didn't use that you can see that my skin's kind of red right now that's why i haven't been putting any foundation on it because it's just not the winter time my skin really hates the winter time and doing something exfoliating to my skin i don't want to do so i didn't use that one so there's two things that i didn't use from that box that i sh i really do want to use the skin booster by make forever and then two other things that i sort of used and don't like didn't fall in love with because I have my favorites of those for now, at least so far of what I've tried, and then also knew that I loved the Makeup Forever cover-up anyway. So those are my thoughts on the last two boxes that I got, and in when I do my January unboxing, I will definitely be saying like in that video and showing you guys the products that I got, because I actually loved all of the products that I got, and so... I'll be making sure to go over that. I just hadn't been going over that because I have had my mom in the videos, as you can see, you just watched. And um, I don't want to keep her waiting while I gush about the products from my past boxes. But we're just going to have to do it because I'm, like, obsessed with doing that. I want you guys to know my opinions on the products that I got. And as you can see from this last year of Sephora Play Boxes, I have found many favorites and some, like, absolute favorites that I buy the actual full sizes in. And so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.